Hello guys, welcome to FM Tech. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to install MIA EU on your Redmi Note 9 Pro. First of all, you need a computer with Windows bootloader on lock device as well as first boot and ADB installed with correct drivers. First of all, on your unlocked Redmi Note 9 Pro, power off the device. Now, while it's off, uh, press the power button as well as volume down to go into fast boot mode. Now connect the device to your PC. Now let's go to the place where you stored your orange fox recovery zip. Extract the zip and take the recovery.img and copy it to the place where you have adb and fast boot installed as i'll show you here this is for installing orange fox recovery if you already have it installed skip these steps make sure the orange fox recovery is 11.1 version not 11.2 it has encryption issues so I recommend using LAN.1 now when you are in the first boot and ADB folder type CMD in the location bar so that a command prompt opens up in the folder now type fast boot flash recovery recovery.img so that it flashes the orange fox recovery on the device As you can see it's successfully done after that go into your phone and press power button and volume down button so that it reboots and while it's rebooting as you can see it's uh, it shows a black screen into recovery. immediately press the volume up and now as well as it will show button. an so orange fox icon then to the recovery to mode it will be in recovery Yeah, so we have successfully installed the Orange Fox recovery to install MAI EU ROM. Now let's go into wipe section and wipe Dalvik, ART and cache. Now let's go back and select format data and type yes so that we can format it don't forget these steps these are very important now we can see that the internal is shown on pc now let's go to the place where we have stored the mmi eu zip that we have downloaded now let's copy into the sd card or internal I am copying into the internal because I don't have an SD card. Now select the zip we have copied in Orange Fox and uncheck all those things and so to install it will take 5 or 6 minutes so be patient. After that to clear the internal and cache we'll do the same steps again wipe cache dalvik art and format data by typing yes so that the file gets cleared out from the internal if you have copied into the internal now we will just reboot the phone now it's done you only need to wait and set up your phone and you will have a great experience with MAI EU. It's the best MAI ROM that's available for us. Other than this, there is a Chinese based ROM but it's not for us global users. So the best bet is using MAI EU.
it will take about uh, 10 minutes or more to boot so don't panic wait and everything that's good takes time so it will take 10 minutes for the first boot after that it will boot normally now i am setting up my device yeah, this new mweu has no bloat this is the best version of mwi you can use it has mwi dialer as well as mwi messages as well as ai preloading ram extension features screen time and better battery backup no bloat no ads so this is an all round great phone for daily driving it also has mwi camera which is loved by many it has 48 megapixel mode as well as other features i almost forgot it also has the super wallpapers which are great it looks so awesome it also has google discover feed as well as a new mri launcher with more grid options as well as icon customization it also gets ot updates for those who are wondering so it's a great great daily driver this doesn't have any annoying bugs which most as we all comes with in my testing so for daily driving this room is perfect it also has game turbo as well as floating windows uh, as well as all usual mwi features as you can see this the um, ram extension enabled you can also see that it's the new mwi which shows the specs and stuff you can see there's a replacement for digital well-being from xiaomi from the special tab we can see the vr toolbox game turbo for the new second space which many find useful and my way lab light mode yeah you can also enable ai preloading which will store stuff in your ram and open the apps quicker also had all tap to wake and new charging animations while you plug in the phone this is not my full review i'll share a full review later on while i am on this mio on for one week or so i am i just now and i installed it now i am using the 12.5.5.0 update as you can see now the google feed is lagging but after some time it will settle and be smooth thanks for watching and subscribe to fmt fmtech for more videos like this thank you